Welcome to Parisno Death Log number 14. And today we're going to go be going over update 1.3.3 and 1.3.4 and why it matters. All right, first off and foremost, 1.3.4 adds some new assets made uh, mostly by Ar Arlegio, some retextures and some new stuff as well, uh, mostly for the Kingdom of Parisno. Take a look at these items in game as well a little bit later. So mostly a bunch of new helmets for the low to mid to high tier units and some new armor. Also now for 1.3.3, also in 1.3.4, the full Limbarnian troop tree, which will be going over in game as well. These uh, assets were also made by our Lady So before we jump in game, we'll take a look at both of the change logs coming to 1.3.3. Uh, which is save game compatible 1.3.2 So first and foremost, Hafan Castle has a new siege layout uh, If you stick till the end of the video, we'll be going over that uh, Do an actual siege We got a new feature, you can now disable battle advance in camp uh, Camp games options, it allows you to always have an even battle regardless of how many troops So you can mess around with that We got some minor map improvements um, I'll be going over this in detail for 1.3.4, so let's jump over that. The Lombardian helmets appear in Var's, in Var's helmets. We did add a Lombardian asset in the last update, but since this, this is Devo, we didn't have a death log then. I'll be going over that right now. Uh, you can no longer escape deserters if they're attacking you. Uh, ladies should no longer appear in Resolve Dispute quests, which bugged out the quests themselves. Uh, the Macabian Swordmaster armor no longer costs a few orums, so it's now uh, can no, no longer choose that out. Rebalances: the Mazuru, the Clamorians, and the Kulans requires a new save. Not that important if you are still playing 1.3.2. In variants, not can uh, be all cavalry troop trees. So this is actually a pretty big change for all the people who like to role play. Um, these actually these are should be decently balanced. So your infantry who the troop trees or the troops who were infantry before, you can add cavalry to them. They won't be as good as the actual cav line, but you can have a full cav troop tree if you so wished. While we made it possible, it is not recommended because, uh, yes, as I said, it will not have a good riding archery skills and all that. Your main cavalry line will still be fulfilled as well, as I, as I said before. And for adjustments, Limbar armor rating has been increased for those Tolranian and Limbar players. Uh, you can no longer retreat when defending a garrison or during a sally. You can still interact with the border to retreat, however. You can recruit Chrysanna's Temperances from Catherine now after completing her quests. Galderian and Crested Mercenaries return if you are using their culture and own their fleet they reside in. A uh, requested feature as well. Crested Armor Rearrangement, including new troops not spawning with shields sometimes, requires a new save. So some of these changes obviously will need a new save but for the most part, you should be good to go. Freelancer, Adventurer's Guild, and Disabled Ships are now en enabled by default uh, whenever you start a new game. If you wish for ships to reappear in a map, Disabled is toggled. Ships will eventually become a thing of the past. So one important thing that I said for the, uh, the minor map improvements, um, 1.3.4 does not have sea travel anymore. Um, it's one of the things where Overland Map Stutter has been reported by a few players with lower end PCs, and I've noticed it on myself when streaming or recording videos for an extended period of time, certain times the map would drop some frames. But for normal people with lower end PCs, this is an attempt to fix that issue or make that issue a thing of the past, hopefully. If it still happens, uh, just report it, let us know, and we'll, we'll uh, keep working on it. So 1.3.3 does have sea travel, but it's disabled by default. Freelancer, uh, there might be bugs related to it as before, but for the most part, Adventurous Guild quests are fixed. All right, so let's jump to 1.3.4. It is not save game compatible with 3.3. .3. So if you do not, if you're in the middle of a game with 1.3.2, simply if you don't want to start over, just uh, do 1.3.3. .3. If you don't mind starting over, download 1.3.4. Uh, not a lot of changes, but they do break save game. A traveling dwarf can appear in Fountain Hall selling some expensive goods. Um, we might be able to take a look at that if I have time. But, and uh, yeah, 
the full Lombardian troop tree now sh will now show up for the minor troop tree faction in Lombard with all the armor shown at the start of the video. New Parisno assets. Uh, we'll take a look at that fu the full Parisno troop tree in a second and the Lombardian one as well. Female maiden armor is not craftable. It was reported that uh, it wasn't able to craft before. It is now. Uh, obviously, uh, join the Discord, guys. If you have any issues, join the Discord. It's the quickest way to reach us. I don't always respond uh, to Mod B. The forums are not the best way to respond either, but join the Discord. If you have bugs or any comments, suggestions, I'll say it again. Join the Discord. Uh, the Perusino map has been updated geographically. All right, we'll take a look at that as well because, again, map stutter hopefully decreased somewhat. And yeah, let's jump in game. Where one of these areas right here near Ariandal, uh, one of the added the bridge, so there's no sea travel here. Near Hafad Castle, there's no sea travel there. All right, down to Azur Keep near the Geldar, there's a straight now instead of sea travel. And all the way over here to Giant's Lands, you can see more uh, straights instead of, more bridges to straights instead of sea travel. And we have a new, the mountains have been opened up somewhat here near, near Sut, so this should make an in interesting uh, movement as well. And also coming, I think it was 1.3.2, I will not be going over to change log for that, but in that version, caravans were added, and I will link a video in the description below uh, going over some caravan stuff. So that's one of the coolest features we've added in, in the recent update. Going over the, one of the major changes asset-wise or troop tree wise is the Kingdom of Perizno getting some more love from Relegio. Thank you. Uh, the Perizno Paladin now feels a new Twilight Helmet. Well, not new, it's now green instead of red, as you might have noticed before. The Perizno Ranger Knight, he now spawns with a Perizno Decorated Birkinet. Uh, the Perizno Champion has a new helmet, the Black Salad, while the per one of their favorites, the Perizno Guardsman, gets the full armor set that is seen in the screen, the main menu screen. It's about, that's finally happened. And the Perizno Footman, Through Defender, Cavalry, and Sunrite Archer all got some uh, Helmet upgrades. The Sunrise Cap, the Prisno Cavalry, excuse me, does get a uh, kind of a boost or a buff with the armor as well. So, new armor for him. And the Prisno Archer gets a new helmet, Sunrise, and the Ruin all get new helmets as well. Alright, let's jump into the minor troop tree factions, taking a look at the. Uh, taking a look at the Climorians, if I could find them here. Never can find him right off the bat. Flip Lombards. Why did I say Climorians? Libard, full troop tree. You cannot see their nobles, but they do have nobles as well. The Limbard recruit going to the Limbard militia, Limbard infantry. You can go through this as well. Uh, just level three, simple stuff for the Limbard recruit. We got the Limbard militia, and he will do an all pipe with a militia axe. We got the Limbard infantry with a heraldic shield he's got a guardian tier at tier x and an all pipe and going up to the veteran infantry another a bit uh, bigger uh, all pike and an armor's at 50 26 so pretty decent unit we go to the great infantry 50 oh that's yeah that's the same one just just getting better weapons and going to the limbard master of arms a little bit better uh, armor. He's got a long knight sword with a long bastard axe and a kingsman pole axe with level 40. So this should be a pretty decent. Tr so Limbard Cavalry, typical cavalry, level 20. He's got a lance and a one-handed long sword with a hunter. Uh, the men at arms sports the tall brown tall reigning hunter with a long horseman axe and a long sword along with a heavy lance, level 36, and a Limbard Knight. He's got a, a Knight's Lance, a Balloon Sword, and a Knight's War Axe, along with the Royal Barded War Horse, level 45 on that blue beast. Uh, the Limbard Crossbowman, just a typical crossbowman. Limbard Veteran Crossbowman, a little uh, bit better than the uh, one before, obviously. The Great Crossbowman, kind of uh, give you Rodok vibes a little bit from Native or somewhat. Still a very good looking troop. And most of these, once again, were made by Arlegio, the assets. 
And a Limbart Siege Vassar looked like an absolute piece as well. With a giant cleaver, a siege crossbow, steel bolts. He's got some really decent armor. Level 38, so this should be fun to play with. Alright, as usual, if you're not sure about the Persian in-game, just uh, go into Notes, Prisno Concepts, go all the way to the bottom, Prisno Dev Team. And you can see version 1.3.4 if you're not sure. We also added our current Patreons. If you want to support Prisno, www.patreon.com slash Prisnos. All current Patreons are listed up here. And you would be part of the list and part of the contributions to add future or to fund future projects and assets and all that good stuff, uh, join Patreon. Patreon.com slash Perizno. So one final thing that I do want to mention in that change game setting, which can be found in camp menu. Scroll down, there's a few battle options. Uh, these are very important for gameplay wise that you want to change certain things. There's infinite sieges, resorts the original endless sieges. We have the battle overview map, which I'll put on because I just uh, removed that for video purposes. Uh, disable war cries if the war cries get too out of hand for you. Uh, resign soldiers to correct uh, categories, that's pretty much self explanatory. And scroll down to overworld options. Enable old trait screen. I don't know why you would do this. I do it sometimes just for native sake, but it's much quicker selling and buying stuff with the new trait screen. Enable freelancer is now enabled by default. Enable Adventures Guild, it's enabled by default, and if for some reason you didn't want to have them on. Disable Ships is currently, you're currently disabled. There's no ship travel, you can't really travel anywhere because there's really nowhere to travel on the water. Uh, turn off notification, Village Notifications, it, it will ignore notifications from your kingdom's village when you're under attack. This was reported that it was too excessive by certain people, so really up to you. And the rest are pretty much self-explanatory, the design invasion date is still the same. Uh, just some is just some options if you're a new type personal player or just never check these options out make sure to check them out and that should about do it for change logs and all that for this dev blog all right guys hope you enjoyed